Christy Fram from Proston. Um, I work for an awesome organisation in the Burnett Inland called the Burnett Inland Economic Development Organisation or BIEDO as we prefer to be known. Um, how did I get here? I guess I um, grew up in a rural community. I'm very passionate about small communities and all the wonderful things that they have to offer. Um, I was a stay-at-home mum with my, ch with my small children when an opportunity to learn to be a bookkeeper came along and um, I actually started working for Baida in that capacity five years ago now. Yeah, so uh, Baida is a not-for-profit organisation. We work alongside our councils in North Burnett and South Burnett region. Uh, we also take uh, do some work down in Gympie region, in the western part of Gympie region, but really we just work in response to our community. So if somebody says to us, we would like to do some business workshops or um, we'd like to um, have some more discussions around a particular topic. Um, we try to facilitate that, we try to, to bring something together that can help to support that at community level. Um, so that, that's where you've seen things like the Ag Networks develop because we uh, value so much our business community and a large part of that in North and South Burn is based on ag. So we're really passionate about bringing people together. I think growing networks is something that um, we see as enormously valuable. Um, two heads are always better than one. The more people you have at the table, the better in our eyes. So yeah, we, we love to collaborate. We love to work with others and um, help to make positive change in as many spaces as we can. A lot of amazing women in the Boyedo team. Very strong, powerful, talented women in the Boyedo team. They are. Did that just happen? That it happened that way? So, you know, I, it's, it's hard to say how that has come about, but it is just pure joy working in this team. Everybody brings a different perspective to the table and a different skill set um, that's equally as, as valued as each other. Um, and I think. Maybe that's how we um, have managed to it. We, only have, we have a really small team for the size um, area that we cover. So a lot of times, you know, we, we do get stretched like, like all teams do. We do have to sort of go above and beyond, but we try to work in really innovative ways to make things happen. So we use Zoom a lot. Um, we use Facebook Messenger as a really quick way to keep in touch because it is so, so instant, quicker than email. Everybody can be part of the conversation. So we try and think outside the square a little bit to, um, to make things happen. But um, I, I, I just so value our team. They are all wonderful women, like you say. And, and along the way, we've had other women join us for periods of time and, and they've been um, fantastic as well. So yeah, love, love work, working with, um, with women, I think, who all feel the same way about making things happen in, in community and, and in business as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So uh, I think when I was younger, I was probably really focused on what was happening in our, in our own space, in our family, in my own space, in my, and in my family's space, and in our community space, I probably spent a lot more time in community. We had a small business for a number of years as well um, out at Lake Benduma, um, so got got an introduction there to the business world. Um, and then when little people come along, you naturally become absorbed in that space as well in family. Uh, as they grow older, though, then I think. Um, you kind of transition more into a work role, into a work life, which is where I'm at now. Um, and I think that has really opened my eyes to uh, a lot, a, a, a broader perspective perhaps, and certainly more of a business perspective. So getting an understanding of what makes it, what, what makes a business in Bernard Inland, um, the energy that goes into that, the barriers that are faced by people who are um, who, who have businesses and are, are operating businesses in the inland as well. But also the opportunities for the future. So I think that's, it's probably perspective that I've gained now in a much broader sense and being able to participate at a regional level through my work role as well is just wonderful. So I'm um, a member of the RDA White Bay Burnett um, committee now, which is certainly uh, opening my eyes to a lot more of, of the broader Wide Bay Burnet, but also participate in other spaces at a regional level, which is wonderful because then it, 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 um, it value adds, I think, to your understanding of your own part of the world. 
and it also opens up that opportunity for where can we create linkages to where, how can we grow that network. To be honest, Damo, I haven't come across that. I know I, I absolutely support women who have um, encountered that challenge. I have had no, no experiences that have really held me back. It's probably been my own mindset that's held me back at times on my own lack of confidence or insecurity in that space. Um, I, think, I think we still, a lot of, um, there's, there's instances where we find ourselves, as women we find ourselves, particularly in the business world, um, in a room that might only have a sprinkling of women. There's, there's a lot, you know, a lot more men in certain spaces still. Um, but I think that will transition as well. A lot of it does come down to how far we're willing to push ourselves um, to participate really. It's um, the opportunities I think are there. I recently um, was accepted into a Women on Boards and Advisory Women on Boards program in Brisbane which was really enjoyable and just um, growing, growing that skill set I guess to, um, to be a participant on, at board level is something that I'm really passionate about but I, the opportunity is there for that. That's certainly not no, I'm not being held back because of my gender in participating in that space. So I, I acknowledge that there certainly would still be workplaces and, and places in community and in the business community as well where women p potentially aren't getting a fair go and I, and I feel terrible for, for that. And I'm sure that as time goes by that situation will improve as well. But personally I can't say that I've ever been disadvantaged work-wise because of my gender. to a couple, of, we, we had a Women in Ag Day in Jerome on Sunday, which was just the most uplifting, women, well it's actually Queensland Women's Week, it's yeah. not just agricultural, oh, so women. all women, yeah, all women are celebrated this week. We held one of our Women in Ag Days um, that, we do, that we do in the inland, uh, we did one last year in Vividon, we have one in Jerome on Sunday, we have another one planned for October, October 15th in Mundubra, put it in your diaries. Um, and from that day, there was it was just such a, a heartwarming um, group of women to be involved with. They were all so passionate about their work and their families. And, and what was really lovely was to see themselves shining through. Um, I commented to Anne from South Burden Online about um, what really struck me about the day when we were talking about investing in women. That's the theme of this week's uh, Queensland Women's Week, invest in women, invest in the future. And when we raised the topic of investment, we naturally thought that it would have, got, it would have taken on a financial investment sort of um, path through the discussion. Yet it all came down to investment of other kinds, and it was investment in their community and their investment in their family. And what was so pivotal, I thought, was investment in themselves and how they were realising that the more they could invest in themselves, the more they could actually then give to others and give to their business and give, and give to their community. So if there was one thing I could say, and I would just say it broadly to, to you and, and um, you know, today in the spirit of Queensland Women's Week, I think it is um, valuing that investment that you can make to yourself because that then grows and enables you to give more. And sometimes that's something that we don't prioritise because we have lots of other things on the go and we feel as though our commitment should be in other areas. We should be putting other other people and other other places before that. Um, but I guess it comes down to that, you know, if you're on a plane, which who's, who do you put the oxygen mask on first? If you put it on yourself, you can actually help others. So that, that would be something that I would say um, more broadly, and, and that doesn't just apply to women, that applies to men equally as well. The, you know, if we're able to invest in ourselves, to ask others for help and, and, um, and grow our own confidence and capabilities, I think we can then, we can, we can go on to do more and help others. I'd probably say to my 11 year old self, um, that English and maths is the most important thing that you could spend your time on because later in life, you really need, you really need to draw, well I have really needed to draw on those things. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, at school sometimes you can get really bogged down in, in everything that needs to be done. Um, 
but if you just focus on the basics, just concentrate on getting those foundations for your own. That's a bit of a boring answer, isn't it? Focus on English and maths, but that's what I would have said to my 11 year old self, do your homework. Damo, before, before you cut me off, finish up this interview, I wanted to say thank you to you for everything that you're doing for our communities. I know you're going above and beyond um, what the MATU Review generally does. You're being so supportive, you're creating linkages, you help getting the word out there about all kinds of really important things. Um, keep up your great work and know that you're appreciated because it's, it's fantastic to have someone like you out and about on the ground and so active in our community. Thank you. I'm Christy Fram. I'm proudly the CEO and a team member of Baido, and this has been the Matu Review.